Okay, another piece of equipment that you may be utilizing as far as airway management, and it's probably one of the most important things that you need to have available to you every time you're going to do airway management, is going to be a good suction unit. Um, the one I'm going to demonstrate for you right now is a portable suction unit. It has a power supply that is, that is back here. We have our bottle of water so that we can flush out our line, and I have my power switch that is here. The, um, the power supply already has the vacuum that's going to be um, coming out of the canister. All I need to do is have non-kinking tu non tubing that is going to be able to apply to the end. And then um, as I have this opened, I have two different devices I can attach to the end of it. This one is called the hard plastic suction catheter or a yank hour. Um, it has an angle to it, and on this side of it, you will notice that there is a hole. And we'll show you a closer up view as usual, just to give you an idea that there is a hole that is here that allows us to be able to apply the suction. It becomes very important because whenever we insert this into the patient's mouth, we want to make sure that we're not suctioning as we're going in. We always suction on the way out. This then connects to the um, non kink tubing, and then we are pretty much set. The other option is going to be a soft plastic catheter or a soft flexible catheter. And these are referred to as being in sizes of French, FR. So this is about a 12 or 14 French suction catheter. And this again attaches to the end of the flexible tubing. And if you have somebody who may have a stoma or a, um, a, a advanced airway in place, this would be able to go in there and it's flexible. So after it goes in, you're allowed to apply the negative pressure to close that, that seal or close that circuit off. And you're going to apply that negative pressure and away we go. We're able to suction our patient. Okay, so you have those two types of devices. For our sake here in this, in this section, because we are dealing primarily with the EMT ventilation and airway management, we're going to deal with the yank hour of that hard suction catheter. Okay, so we're going to place that on and now we are all set. Okay. When we go to suction our patient, one of the things that we want to make sure that we are going to do is not stimulate their gag reflex. They've already had a problem. So in that case, we can actually measure again from the trachea of the ear over to the mouth. And when you do that, you can actually just block that off. So now you've marked as to where that suction is going to occur. We will then make sure that we turn on our suction unit. beyond 10 to 15 seconds, 15 seconds at the max. However, there are times to break rolls. As long as there is fluid in their mouth and in their airway, we cannot effectively ventilate them and they cannot effectively breathe. So in essence, we need to, to suction out as long as it takes to get, the air, to get the airway clear. Now, one of the best things that we can do is when we are suctioning them, is that we can turn them on their side and as we have them on their side, support their airway, and we can come in there and suction as well. This may, this will help, gravity will help us out, and we'll be able to suction our patients a whole heck of a lot better. Okay, now we'll take some closer looks for you. Here I have my non-kink tubing. Here is my yank hour. You can see that right here is where that opening is going to be that I can place my finger over it. Okay, this just attaches like this. I would then make sure that I'm going to measure this just like I would an oral airway. Once I have marked that, I can then turn on my suction unit. And we'll pretend for here that I do have it turned on because of the noise. I will then insert it. Because I've inserted it to this point, I can now press my finger over that opening and I'm now suctioning back and forth. And I'm suctioning out to make sure that I remove all secretions out of the airway. And I'm not going back so far as to cause a gag. And I'm suctioning on the way out. I will then take, a, take this end and I will then flush it out so that the tube is not kinked up. And that's it.